Now the question is tangents are drawn to the parabola y square equals 4x from the point 6 comma 5 to touch the parabola at q and r. Now it says if c1 is a circle which touches the parabola at q and c2 is a circle which touches the parabola at r, both the circles c1 and c2 they pass through focus of parabola, then we have to solve this question. Now here we have this parabola y square equals 4x and then from a point p 6 comma 5 we have drawn two tangents which touch this parabola at q and r so what we'll first do is we'll find the q and r now we know that for this parabola y square equals 4x value of a is 1 the equation of tangent is given by ty equals x plus a t square so in this case it will be ty equals x plus t square now we need this tangent which passes through this point 6 comma 5 so we we'll put x as 6 and y is 5 so we we'll get t square minus 5 plus 6 equals 0 so here the value of t will be either 2 or 3 so coordinate of this point q will be 80 square 280 which is 4 comma 4 and for this point r will be 80 square 9 and 280 is 6 9 comma 6 so the two points are 4 comma 4 and 9 comma 6. Now this first question is find the area of this triangle PQR. Now we know that area of triangle is given by 1 by 2 x1 y11 one, one. so it will be this 6 5 1 4 4 1 and 9 6 1. Now we subtract first from third Will be this 310 and the second from first then will be this minus 2 minus 10 and then will be this 651 now we expand it we'll get this as minus 2 plus 3 so this is 1 by 2 so value of this area is 1 by 2 and that's your option a so area of triangle pqr is this option a now the second one is radius of circle c2 now it says we have two circles c1 and c2 which pass through focus of parabola which is at 1 comma 0 and which touch these points so this point is 1 comma 0 and then we have this circle we have to find radius of this second circle c2 now for this C2, what we'll do is we'll write equation of this tangent PR. And for R, value of T is 3. So if we put 3 here, we'll get equation of PR as 3y equals x plus 9. Or this equation is x minus 3y plus 9. 9 equals 0. Now we can find equation of family of circles touching this line at this point 9 comma 6. So equation of family of circles will be given by x minus 9 square plus y minus 6 square plus lambda and then x minus 3y plus 9 equals to 0. Now this circle, it passes through focus. So it will pass through 1 comma 0. We will put x as 1 and y as 0. If we put x as 1, we will get this as minus 8 square 64 and y is 0. So it will be this 6 square 36 plus lambda uh, 1 plus 9 equals 0. Now this is 110. So value of lambda is minus 10. So we can write equation of this circle as x square 
प्लस के टी वन माइनस एटीन एक्स वाई स्क्वायर प्लस थर्टी सिक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व वाई माइनस टेन एक्स प्लस थर्टी वाई माइनस नाइनटी इक्वल जीरो और दिस इक्वेशन विल बी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेंटी एट एक्स प्लस एटीन वाई प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन इक्वल जीरो नाउ सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल इज एट फोर्टीन कॉमा माइनस नाइन एंड इट्स रेडियस विल बी फोर्टीन स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन विच इज अंडर रूट टू फिफ्टी विच इज फाइव रूट टेन सो रेडियस ऑफ दिस सेकेंड सर्कल इज फाइव रूट टेन एंड दैट्स योर ऑप्शन बी एंड द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज द कॉमन कॉर्ड ऑफ द टू सर्कल्स पास इज थ्रू Which of the following center of this triangle PQR? And for this, again, we have to find equation of the circle C1. For circle one, equation of tangent will be given by two y equals x plus four, or x minus two y plus four equals zero, and this point of contact is. Four comma four. We can write this equation as x minus four square plus y minus four square plus lambda. X minus two y plus four equals zero. It'll pass through one comma zero. So this is nine plus sixteen plus lambda plus five equals zero. So value of lambda is minus five. So we'll get this equation as. x square plus y square plus sixteen minus eight x plus sixteen minus eight y minus five x plus ten y minus twenty equals zero or it will be this x square plus y square minus thirteen x plus two y plus sixteen equals zero. Plus twelve equals zero. Now, once we have equation of both the circles, we can find equation of their common chord, which is basically their radical axis. So, it will be twenty-eight minus thirteen minus fifteen x eighteen y minus two y plus sixteen y. And twenty-seven minus twelve is fifteen. So this equation of common chord is minus fifteen x plus sixteen y plus fifteen. So equation of common chord is given by minus fifteen x plus sixteen y plus fifteen equals zero. Now which of the point is going to pass through? This common chord. Now easiest one is centroid. So first we'll find its centroid. Now centroid is given by six plus four ten. Ten plus nine nineteen. So it'll be this nineteen by three, and then we have fifteen by three, which is five. So we put this. We'll get this as five. So it'll be minus nineteen into five plus eighty. Plus fifteen, so it is minus ninety five plus ninety five, which is zero. That means centroid is going to lie on this common chord. So it will pass through centroid of this triangle, and that's your option C. The correct options are A, B, and C.